That's March 2nd is a day that thousands of us will remember because of the effects of bad weather. 20 years ago, the Licking River filled hundreds of homes in Falmouth with water and mud. Five years ago, it was killer tornadoes. Joe Webb found some scars are still healing. The Licking River is up in Falmouth today, but up has had a much different meaning here since March of 1997. Heavy rains upstream swelled both branches of the Licking, so they became a muddy, moving lake that swamped Falmouth to the peaks of roofs. Today at City Hall, they reflected on that day with songs, prayers, and kind words. Darren Brown relived that day, the day he and his family got stuck by the rising water on Pendleton Street, had to break into a friend's house and break out through the roof as the water chased them upstairs. I did find a claw hammer and I beat it through. I finally beat it through enough to, for all th four of us to get up on the roof and stand by up there. And I think it was Campbell County Water Rescue that come through with a boat and rescued, rescued me off of there. Brown was motivated to start Pendleton County Water Rescue. They did, with donations from, of all places, Falmouth, Massachusetts. Five people died in the Falmouth flood. Fifteen years to the day later, four people died here when a powerful tornado swept through Piner, Kentucky, Peach Grove, Kentucky, and Moscow, Ohio. The shovel blade stuck in the utility pole on Bagby Road is a reminder of the devastation that took lives, homes, barns, and livestock. It ripped the roof off Mike Martin's home and pushed out the walls. He's rebuilt, but often relives that day. He relived it yesterday. Do you look at stormy days differently now? <laughs> yes, yes. Actually, uh, I have a uh, storm shelter now in here, and we, uh, we were making sure that we were able to get in it yesterday, my wife, make sure we could get in it if necessary. The same night, the same storm system killed three people in Holton, Indiana, making March 2nd a day people would like to forget, but no, they really need to remember, especially in Falmouth, because storm clouds come and go the Licking River is here every day. Being here all my life, I know it's going to happen again. I just don't know when. In Falmouth, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. People in Falmouth get a little nervous when that river comes up, as you might expect. In 1997, the rapid rise of the Licking caught many people by surprise. Since then, more river gauges have been added, and the information from them is more accessible. The issue that brought